Uh, I still can't hear anything. I'm going to restart Discord. Hmm, I'm still not getting any sound. Can you say something? Can you say something now? Uh, hang on. I'm going to edit my... You, you can, can you hear me? Output device. Oh, there. that's why. Can you hear me now? Hello. Oh yeah. Now, okay. I figured it out. My uh, output device was wrong. So um, now you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Hello. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna get started on setting up the match. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to host, or would you be down for hosting? Up to you. All right. I have I pretty stable hosting. internet and a decent CPU, so I can host. Okay. All right. Um, so I believe it's 12k annihilation with the refinery map. Yeah. Okay. Um, did they say 240 seconds for turn time? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, do you want me to make it private, or do you think you can jump in before? Um... I'll be able to jump in. Okay. All right, matches up. Mm. Shouldn't we wait until like fifty nine ish? Ah, uh, we're th it's three minutes. It's not going to be a super big deal. All right. All right. This is uh, my first PvP tournament, by the way, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, Unix uh, invited me to partake in the tournament because um, he and I, uh, a few months ago, would regularly do matches against each other. Well, best of luck. Yes. Good hunting. Same to you. It's my first as well. I only did PvE. So. Yeah. The campaign's good. It's just... Um, PvP's a whole different thing in this game. It is. Yes. It is. So much different. One of the longest jump sequences I've seen in a while. <laughs> I had worse. <laughs> 16k with both players, 10 ships. Jesus. Oh yeah, that'll that'll take forever. Yes, Commander. I, I love the fact though that like both our fleets just agreed to mate in this specific part of space, so we both jump in at the exact same time. Yeah, it looks like a, it, the ultimate pitched battle. Yours is in formation already. Like 
we specifically agreed that this is the exact place well, and time that we're meeting this meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Fast. Yeah, my uh, opening moves are very quick. I generally get bored. There isn't much to really decide um, because I like to. When I set up a fleet, I generally have an idea what I'm going to do with it beforehand. Um, have you ever played like Warhammer 40k Dawn of War? No. no. Okay. Well, um,. One of the things that a lot of people do in PvP there is there's something called an opener, which is like the first thing you do, uh, and it kind of gets routine. Launching alert wow. vipers. I mean, it won't be until much later in the match when I actually start using up a lot of the planning time. You, you'll get a lot slower later, is it? Yeah, um, I, I use a lot of fleet select. <laughs> I abuse the hell out of it. I remember when, before they really had it, when it was just a pain and you had to um, maneuver everything in a specific way. And you had to use the drop-up menu, like the menus where you click on the ship and you had to navigate through all the tabs. Um, oh, Christ. People, I, I've noticed a lot of people still do it, and I'm like, you can launch your squadrons and fire your ordnance from the little menu that's already there in the bottom right of the screen. Yeah. Hmm. That was their PCMs hating we, we each other? We didn't do pretty... Uh, game screenshots. Oh. Uh, uh, actually, that's fine. Um, I have. We'll, we'll do them afterwards. Yeah, I have a. The stream's up. So, I mean, that should be plenty of evidence for Unix. I don't think he's going to throw a fit over something like that. Yeah, we'll put it. Um, I guess the yes, end of stream screenshots are all that's going to matter. Uh,. Because I mean, if it's this is gonna this is going off on YouTube, so it's just gonna be there, you know, kind of permanently. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. This is where the magic really begins, I guess. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna move. Finished up my ice cream as well. To go. Understood. All right. We got one person watching the stream. Are you streaming on Twitch or YouTube? Either? Uh, YouTube. Um, I don't really like Twitch for uh, purposes of the stream because, um. It gets taken down within a few days. Uh, well, and if I'm using this as like evidence for the uh, referees, I kind of want this to stick for a little bit. All right. Yeah. Said some Discord. Ah, oh, that's just one of my other guys. All right. Yes, sir.
so say we all. I'm noticing how both of us kind of have our fighters off hmm? a little away. I'm noticing how both of us have our fighters off a little away from the main fleet. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's a little farther than yours. All right. Missiles incoming. Oh, that was a clean PCM shot right there. I launched that PCM, I guess, right in time. Yeah. So say we all. All right. Understood. Uh, I'll only be able to do one match today. Yeah, I was uh, actually going to ask if you were fine with doing only one match. Um, I've been up all night, <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm only being held. I'm I'm only going on because of caffeine right now. So I hope that's fine with you too. Uh, we can do the Sunday ones. Yeah, we can uh, do the remaining two on Sunday. I. I've never uh, done PvP against you, and everyone has their own style, so I kind of wanted to have this be like the first little match to kind of so get familiar with how you play. Yeah, like, everybody that's on our side, I've, I've never even really spoken yes, to. So I have yeah. no idea what they're like. I mean, what I do know is that Galanti um, likes to... is really good with fighters. Um, Unix? is not very good with fighters. Uh, there hasn't been a single time where I've faced Unix and lost the fighter battle, but uh, there have been plenty of times where he's had some pretty tanky ships that have been able to win regardless. Um, first battle I ever had with him, uh, I introduced him to the power of spamming debris mines. <laughs> and he yeah. would, I was like, use this against Galante and tell me how it goes. Uh, not quite within weapons range yet. Getting close, though. Maybe I can start. Yeah, there's another PCM. Yes. We can deploy here. Should be exciting. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the first salvo. I could be wrong though. IFF confirms unit ah, my favorite ship from uh, the first Cylon War. <laughs> oh, and there we go.
This is where the fun begins. Understood. I'm just Understood. I'm gonna waste munitions on you. Surprised to be sure, but welcome. This is a strategy that Unix uses a lot. With the two Mercuries on top and a couple Valkyries on the bottom. I mm, don't play against him too often. Yeah. It's pretty I, reliable. I, he's not too good with the Mercuries. So I, I usually... I don't mean to brag, but like he's not that hard to beat, unfortunately. Yeah. He's been trying a few things. He's actually pretty good with Orions, but um, if you can get below him and he'll have like one or two Mercuries and you be, you get you get through with the fighter battle because he he he's alright with like gunships, but he um, kind of skimps on fighters sometimes mm -hmm. and <laughs> it can get easy to beat him that way. Yeah. Oh wow, this is a mess. Alright, I'm just gonna have all my squadrons. Come out to play. Commander. So say we all. Was getting wild up here. Yeah. So say we all. Understood. Is that a Valkyrie named Yashuman? And another one right next to it named Valkyrie? <laughs> what I just noticed that your two Valkyries that you have in the corner are named Yashuman and Valkyrie. The two that were yeah. uh, hacked over Caprica into oblivion. Yeah. 
I know. I, I was that intentional? My ships. <laughs> what is it? Was that intentional or? Yeah, I, I, I prefer to name my ships after uh, ships that are known to have existed. Yeah, like I can... how my Mercury's are named Atlantia and. Uh, yes, yeah, I do that too in a lot of my videos. Um, though it's not really stated what class Atlantia is. Uh, it's just kind of assumed to be a Mercury. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more of a gas. Yeah. It's like, well, it's assumed to be the flagship, so it must be the biggest thing we ever see on screen. I was thinking you wouldn't launch your nuke from the Orion. Yeah, I was trying to get on top of you to do that, but uh, that didn't work super well. I would have expected you to launch it on, on the Atlas at that point. It yeah. would have been a suicide mission, but still. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, let's see if I can get these guys to come out to play. You're covered in PCMs, which is making this a little challenging to get that last Mercury. Yeah. Understood. The problem is, I put my nuke on the Mercury you just destroyed. <laughs> well, pro I guess we both neutralizing each other's nukes, because mine's going to hit your flak field and do nothing. Yeah. Well... See, you've got my Ryan, two of my adamants, and my Minotaur. And I think all I got was your one Mercury. Uh, so far, yeah, but it's, yeah. it's not a lost cause yet. You're using a lot of Mark 7s. I, I, I've noticed how uh, very powerful those Mark 7s um, end up becoming, especially in fighter battles. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things I wish they did is um, in Skirmish allow uh, Jupiter Mark IIs uh, to run with Mark Sevens. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, I think they actually considered it uh, during the beta testing, but for some reason they didn't do it. I, I can't remember why. Because it's already, it's locked out of campaign, right? You're not going to get a Mark Seven in the campaign. Yeah. But. Um, I mean, like, in Skirmish, it kind of makes sense. Um, I'm not sure how people feel about Valkyries being in-game, but, you know, since it is Ghost Fleet, for the people who do believe that the Valkyrie was a canon first warship, let them have the option to do it. <laughs> Most people on this server think that uh, Blood and Chrome is not canon. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, like, it is uh, licensed. Um... Another reason why people don't consider it canon is because how the Galactica looks in the movie. Like, they just did a quick refit mid-war and then just refitted it back to the regular uh, style just for the last battle. For uh, Razor? That Columbia was destroyed. So yeah, I, I mean... makes no sense. Well, okay, here's the thing. We, we only really see in Razor Columbia, not Galactica. Our so, I mean... I probably want, like, one of the things I want to do next time I watch oh Razor God. is go through. Look at my Valkyries. Yeah, um. Did, did you just see that? I'm sorry to cut you in half there. It's just my Valkyries were literally like. Yeah, it just it just murdered my Artemis. Uh, oh no, not, not that. They're maneuvering. Like, their flight paws yes, just sir. basically touched. They didn't really touch, but, like, you could play volleyball on it. Uh. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying before. <laughs> All right, let's see if how bad I choked during this last bit. I probably should have brought a Ceresties, but I didn't, 
and now that's hurting me. Because that's been the number one thing keeping your Mercury's going. Yes, that's literally the only thing keeping my Mercury's going. Mercury by itself is actually really weak. I hate yeah. to say it, but well, you can. It it's, it's pretty easy to outmaneuver, and uh, if you have a few smaller ships, so I wouldn't go with a solo Mercury, um, in like a 4K fleet battle, because there's no way you're going to be able to move that around and get it in a good position to be doing stuff with it. Uh, in 4K, it's not that bad because you do get the free Mark 7, so you're basically safe from munitions and you can extend, uh, like, you can have a long arm of the Battle Star. Yeah, but say if you're fighting Cylons, you're gonna get hacked. Mm, that is true. That was a nice piece of Okay. Well. Yes, sir. So say we all. Now this is where. This is gonna get really interesting. Cause you just took out the last of my squadrons. Yep, that's the idea behind this fleet. Alright. Rip Atlantia. Yep. Rip Admiral Magala, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably not get what's probably getting me now is that you've got your uh, Valkyries so we below me. Yeah. You you didn't really uh, descend with your ships? Which yeah. Is, or was uh, your downfall? I went after the Mercury's first. Understood. Mm, Mercury's, I'd say, are more so bait than anything. Yeah. With how they are performing at the moment. just wondering why did you bring an uh, EMP um one of the strategies I, I didn't change it out but one of the strategy strategies I would use is um sometimes people will send their full like when people play with fighter fleets they'll send a full-on fighter fleet and I'll put up a last minute flak field and an EMP so the fighters drift right into the flak field mm -hmm. and it's very hard to get to work but uh when it does work it's uh pretty amazing to watch yeah, it can work really well, but like your fighter squadrons, we are still around it, so like you turn off your own fighters as well. Um, well, you launch them, and I like to put them behind my fleet, or just not launch them. Uh, kind of bait the other fleet into thinking they have the drop. And it's only worked a few times. Most of the time it works against NPCs. Because NPCs yeah, in this NPCs, game aren't very smart. Great. Yeah. I, I, I use it in co-op once, and it was amazing, especially with the 32k fit. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Deploying countermeasures.
Uh, it's just the two ships I got left against. Well, you got a couple Ceresties, a couple Valkyries, and an Adamant. I mean, not Ceresties, Celestials. <laughs> they look. Yeah, they and, look. And an Atlas, actually. <laughs> yeah. Not an Adamant. Tiny little bastards that are annoying in another way. A Atlas is just an Adamant on steroids. With no missiles. Yeah. And it can't move. Alright. I don't see me holding out for much more than another turn or two. Alright, I guess last turn of the game. On it, Commander. Uh. Well, if we have one of the quick game like that, I can do a second one. I don't know, I'm I'm getting pretty tired. I mean I'm gonna be doing some fleet reworking after this, uh, oh, but I'm gonna. There's three people watching the stream right now. Yep. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's gonna be in the stream, but green shot. Let's see. I'm gonna play the replay and. See how messy that got. Uh, don't forget to make a post um, pre screenshot. Yeah. Well, actually, if it's gonna be on YouTube, then they're just gonna hear the saying that just make a post pre screenshot. So I suppose whatever. I'll make Unix do the work for me. <laughs> but yeah, both of us agree we've seen each other's tweets. We know what's that. That's it, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna probably spend a little bit of the day reworking my fleet, and uh, <clears throat> doing some more anti-fighter stuff. What probably uh, got me was when I broke my Minotaur off and uh, didn't keep it really with the Artemis formation. Because the top flank did its job all right with uh, holding the Mercury's off. Yeah, like I, I had two deadly forces, both on top and the bottom, so like, yeah. you have to kind of choose which one do you want to deal with first. Yeah. I'm looking at the stream, and uh, yeah, I, I basically threw everything I had at those Mercury's first. I mean, I dedicated a whole wall of death to it.
Alright. Well, I'll keep in touch with you so we can schedule another match uh, next week. Yeah. Well, uh, so I'm actually traveling uh, to a different state uh, tomorrow through Sunday morning. And I should be able to do another two matches Sunday. Okay. Uh, don't forget to post uh, screenshots. Yeah. Alright, well, that was a good match. It was a pleasure playing with you. And uh, I'm looking forward to our next match. Same. Alright. Uh, see you on the weekend. Alright. Good night. Alright, see you. Alright. For the one person watching, uh, that was a pretty intense battle. Um in which the other guy beat me mostly due to the fighter stuff, but uh, that was pretty good. Um, so there's going to be some fleet reworking for the next uh, tournament match. And hopefully, um, maybe I can pull off a win next time. Uh, I put the replay up there, so after this I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some screenshots and the official stuff and let them know that Dreadwan is a good match. Um, I just gotta be a little more careful next time. So, I'm gonna end the stream for the evening for Battlestar Galactica. And, I'll probably set up the next stream Sunday around 4pm Eastern Daylight. Alright.